Hello folks, in this video we will solve this easy problem majority element. So the question is, we will be given an integer array and from this array we need to find out the majority element. So here the majority element is defined as the element that appears more than n by 2 times where n is the length of the array. So what we can do is, we can loop through the array, uh, we can uh, loop through the entire array and at, at each index we can check whether uh, this particular element had occurred n by 2 number of times. If yes, we can return the result, right. And for this we can use a dictionary. We are using dictionary because uh, it has of one time, right, access time. So we can store the key value pair as, the key will be the element we are, con we are looking at at that particular index and its uh, value, uh, in the key value, for the key value pair the value will be the number of times, the number of occurrence that element had occurred till till that particular index. Okay, so after after uh, storing this information in dictionary, at each index we can check whether uh, this particular element had occurred n by n by two number of times. If yes, we can uh, return that particular element right away. So let's start coding. Uh, first, we'll have a dictionary here and we can uh, start looping through the array for uh, num in nums. What we can do is, if, if that particular element is not there in dictionary already, that is uh, we are seeing that particular element for the first time, we can add it, right. We can set the count to 1, that is we have found one one number of this particular element that is if num not in dictionary then we can add it to dictionary so dictionary of num equals one so so we found one occurrence of that element else if it's already there in dictionary we can just increment the count of that right so dictionary of num plus equals 1 and after after this we need to check right uh, whether the count count is equal to n by 2 so we can check here if dick of num if if dictionary of num greater than or equal to n by 2 right n by 2 uh, so here uh, n needs to be defined, right? n is length of array, length of nums. So if that is true, if that is true, uh, what we can do is we can uh, return, right? Return num. We can return that particular num. And uh, again, if we look at the question, it's given, uh, you may assume that majority element always exists in the array. So since it will exist in the array, we, we can uh, return return in the for loop and uh, return uh, right from the for loop and we, we need not have to write anything after the for loop because uh, it will in a, in in any case the result will be found and it will be returned and that, that is the, there exists a result so we can test it let's run the code yeah it's working and again, uh, if we look at the question, it's given, right? Like we can assume that the result exists in the array. So uh, there, there is another way of solving this problem. Like uh, there is a counter class in Python collections. So we can use that counter and we can solve this problem. Let's see how. Uh, first we can uh, from collections, we can import counter. So using this class, we can count the number of occurrence of each elements. Okay, so we can assign it to a variable c equal to counter of counter of nums, right? That's an input array nums. Now this will return the result like for which all elements, wh what are the respective counts? Okay, so from this class, we can we can get the result in decreasing order. That is, if we use if there is a function in counter class that is most common what that function will return is an array of all the elements and their respective counts 
okay in decreasing order so that means uh, once we get the result from that function the first element will be the element which is which is having the most number of occurrences right so we can call that function here most common now from this result what we can uh, return is uh, the first element uh, that is uh, the first element will be the the element which is having most number of counts right but again uh, this function will be returning a tuple okay and in for uh, for that tuple the first element will be the number and the second element will be the number of occurrence of that number okay so we need number right uh, we need to return the number which number is occurring uh the uh, n by 2 times okay so what we can do is we can directly return c of 0 that is the first we'll take the first first element from the array and from the uh, that will be a tuple from that tuple we need to get the first element right that is the we need to return the number right not the count so here uh we can return 0 right c of 0 0 and uh, here we are not doing any n, n by 2 checks because uh, in the question it's given we can assume that a majority element will always exist in the array that's why we are not doing any checks here we are directly taking the uh, element with most most number of occurrences and we are simply returning it okay so le let's try running it yes it's working See you in the next video.